Hello? Yeah. Okay. Today we are going to see about the promotions in the retail. So the promotions are handled a little different in sales and distribution. Okay. In normal sales, promotion means you are going to give an additional discount to the customer. That's it. You probably inform of the promotion discount. In LTV, we create a promotion. We can give the discount normally also, but we create a promotion so that we can track the performance or how much of discount has been given in the name of promotion. Okay. So that is the only reason we create promotions in sales and distribution. There you say this is the promotion period and this is the discount I am going to give towards this promotion which will be appearing in your invoice saying that so tomorrow when you are taking a report you will say that okay for this promotion I have spent this much of amount in the form of discounts. Either you can share with your vendor because your vendor is also going to get benefited by your promotion. So you can say that hey I had increased your market share during through this promotion campaign so let us share this. So the amount you had spent on the promotion, you can claim a share of that from your vendor. That is the standard promotion in the sales and distribution. But when it comes to retail, it is handled in a different manner. Okay. You, why we run promotions in retail? To make people buy more, that is one option. Or when you are creating a new store or when you are opening a new store in the new suburb or new location, to create an awareness or to create that buzz, you will be running a promotion there. Okay. Uh, or it could be some festi festival promotion. Or sometimes to make people buy in the off season, uh, you run the promotion. Okay, so there are so many reasons. So which means in this discussion, in this statement we had seen that the promotions are run for the stores. Okay, it could be either for all of the stores or it could be for a set of stores. Okay. And second thing is like you may want to have a special price during the promotion. You may create special discounts for the promotion or the retail price itself. You can set it different from the regular. You can set the special promotional sales price. When you are setting the promotional sales price, you can have um, what to say, separate purchasing price for the promotion merchandise. Okay. So if you are buying a regular material for one euro per piece, during for the promotion, you can tell the vendor that hey, I am going to run a promotion, so both of us are going to benefit. Okay. So uh, give me a special. Purchase price. I am not asking for discount. Give me a special purchase price. Okay. So the vendor will supply you at the rate of 75 cents per piece against the regular purchase price of 1 euro per piece. Okay. So this is also possible. Now, this is also a practice. Okay. And sometimes you might want to create free goods for the promotion or you might want to give uh, coupons or discount, what is called as vouchers, okay, for the promotion, okay. So once you define, okay, this is what I am going to buy and this is what I am going to sell and uh, this is the quantity which I expect to sell during this promotion period, then uh, these are all the sites or stores that are going to take part in the promotion and once you decide all these things, you go for the execution. So how you execute? So you are going to buy special person, uh, merchandise, promotional merchandise from your vendor at a special price. Okay. And then you are going to uh, define these are all the stores that are going to be a part of the promotion. Okay. So you define a site group and uh, which, you, which are going to have the promotion. Okay. Then you define, okay, this is the special sales price I am going to sell. So once you have decided these things, then you are going to announce the store that these are all the materials, I mean this
these are all the promotion periods and these are all the promotion merchandise you are going to receive and you are going to distribute the material. How you distribute the material? Through the merchandise distribution or allocation which we had seen in the last class. Okay. So, uh, in the, only the planning part of the promotion is special, I mean like it's different. The execution part is same as the allocation table. That is the reason why we saw the allocation table first and then we went for the promotion. Okay. So, to create a promotion, we go to logistics, retailing, master data, retail promotion, promotion, create. Okay. So, once you have created the promotion and you have been running the promotion for a period of time, then you can evaluate that whether the promotions had done successfully or what is the margin overview or what are the materials that were part of this promotion or what are all the promotions that were running using this method because you can have multiple promotions running parallelly at a different set of stores but the materials or articles can be the same across all the stores. So, what are all the promotions per article and what are all the promotions running on a site. Okay, so, these are all the evaluations. To create a promotion, we go to WAK1. So, we have to give the promotion type. Promotion type, I do F4 or I can directly enter the value 0001, which is the company advertised in the paper. So, this is the company advertised promotion. Okay. So, what is your currency I am planning for? I am planning for the currency in euros and when is the promotion to be active? So, today is 10th of March. So, I am saying that for all the sales that happen from tomorrow 2018 till this 7 days, 1703-2018 and sometimes, uh, not sometimes, okay, sometimes if a business is having the organized sales also, well, when the customers are walking into a store and buying the material, there is no sales order, that is not the organized sales, that is the retail sales or walk-in sales. Organized sales is like, the, let us say, there is an organization who is buying materials from you, okay, they cannot just like that walk in and by bulk quantities. So, what can they do? They can place a, send a quotation, sorry, they can send a purchase order to you and based on that you create a sales order, you deliver the material to them and do the invoicing. That is the organized sale. So, if your business is parallelly running the organized sale also, then you will be creating the sales order. So, what is the period? Uh, I mean, like, what is the period in which the created sales order should have this promotion activity? So, that is also, let me say, 1103-2018 to 1703-2018, okay. And what is the article I am going to use in my promotion? So, and let me say that I am going to use this article, 1042, sales quantity is each. What is the sales quantity I am planning to sell? During this promotion campaign, so let me say it is 200 pieces. And currently the pieces, I mean like what is the price I am going to sell? So let me say like I wanted to sell it for 80 euros. Okay. Currency, 80 euros per piece. Okay. Then what is the quantity? I am saying minimum people should buy or you should order one piece and I am going to buy 200 pieces from my vendor and I am going to sell those 200 in to the, I mean send those 200 to my store by means of allocation table okay. and what is the allocation rule I want to apply, okay. Then what else are here, okay. What is the item category of the allocation table which you are going to create and what is the announcement category. Okay. 
then you are planning the price your standard sales price there is no standard sales price set for this material okay so that is why it is showing as zero but you have info records that contains the purchasing price okay. you are buying normally for 1 euro but since i am selling for 80 euro for 80 cents i will let me say like i will buy this material from my vendor for 40 cents okay then logistics control from which date and date so since i had given the header it will be automatically taken up and if you have any things created for example this theme is a uh, let me say if you are running this promotion as a part of the go to school theme which normally happens uh, across the world during the school reopening after a vacation you can say like okay my theme is go to school or you can say like my christmas theme okay so if you have created a theme you can assign it okay, but that is not a mandatory one and site groups what are all the sites that are going to have this promotion okay. i have grouped a certain site and okay so what are the sites that i can select that and go to display or change and the sites are w100 101 2 and 3 so these are all the sites that are going to receive i mean that are going to participate in the promotion activities okay then let me the header data i'm going to say when i am buying the material from the external vendor who is going to take care of my promotion or purchasing activity that is my purchasing organization and which department is going to do the purchasing for me that is the purchasing group okay so you can create it okay you can create a promotion as a higher level promotion you can just create with the name and uh, uh, the site groups that's it okay and you can assign sub promotions occurring inside uh, during the validity period for example let me tell you i'm going to create a promotion for summer my summer in india it will start from uh, march okay then it will go up to june so march april may june okay i need not create a single promotion for uh, that covers all these four months instead what i can do is that i can create one higher level promotion and i can create many sub promotions or lower level promotions within that period so let me select i will create one promotion from march to april depending on its performance i may want to add more materials or uh, reduce the material quantities okay so then i can revise my strategy and run the second promotion on april based on that result i can go for may and depending on how much has been left out because the summer merchandise like your uh, what to say your hats and other things so that cannot be sold in the uh, rain period okay so you might want to clear up all those things so you might want to sell those things in the last leg of your promotion okay so if i want to create it as a higher level promotion mark it as higher level promotion okay that you can uh, try it as a part of your practice okay so i let me save this so we have created a promotion now this promotion if i say that i have created a promotion which means you had planned a promotion that's it okay you have to execute that promotion now okay to execute the promotion you go to change okay then i do the subsequent processing subsequent processing what, what i have planned okay what are the further activities i have to do i have to list the materials to the uh, what to say to the site which are participating in the promotion okay then i have to activate special prices okay in case i am having a different source so normally i buy from the vendor uh, sorry i normally the store buy from here yeah, particular vendor through the dc okay for promotion alone you might want to go for a separate vendor who will offer you a special price when you buy large quantities kind of okay so then you might want to have a different supply source determined okay then based on that 
uh, you might want to create a allocation table. Okay, so the sequence is LISDA. Okay, listing, supply source determination, price activation, allocation table generation, and additionals. Additionals are nothing but your uh, labels, stickers, hangers, kind of things when you are buying your merchandise. Okay. So let me do the subsequent activities first. Okay. First, I want to create a listing. Okay. So if this step is needed, then you are creating a special assortment module relevant only for this promotion. Okay. If it is not done, then you need not do that. Because okay. so here I hadn't gone to the creation, uh, creation of assortment module specific to the promotion. Then supply source, I don't want to. Okay, either you can create a supply, assign a supply source in the first place, or you can let the system to determine the automatic supply source determination during the allocation table generation. Okay, so let us see what is done in the supply source determination. Okay. Supply source determination. So what is the supply source that has been there? I can see the overview of the supply source. Okay. So for this store, the DC is W001. Okay. But it has to be bought from the external vendor VN01. So it's a default value of the DC vendor. Save it. So LI, yes. Then I do the price activation because I had maintained the special price. Okay. My purchase price is 40 cents and my sales price is 80 cents. Okay. I select that line, activate it. Okay, this is purchasing price. Okay. So you might want to see how the price is being calculated. So I'll go for the display price calculation. Yes, I am buying the material from the vendor for 40 cents. Okay. As per my current uh, way of uh, price sales price calculation. If you go revisit the retail pricing calculation, on top of that it adds 150 percentage of the markup unit and arrives at the price of one euro. So, okay. and the stores buy this material from DC for one euro, and they are supposed to sell it by sell it with credit. Okay, so they have their own uh, markup. But since you had already checked that I want to sell it for 80%, the system calculates here markup or markdown. In this case, it is markdown because the value is reduced, not added up. Okay, so 20% is reduced, makes a markdown of 20% and the sales price is arrived at 80 cents per piece. So let me save the prices. So once I save the prices, the retail pricing is automatically calculated. So LISP, then I create a allocation table. Okay. Let's give it a little time. Generate the Allocation table. Okay. And I'll see what is the size quantity. Okay. It just says all the warnings. So no error as such. So let me save it. So once I save that, the system would have automatically determined the allocation table, which I can see that. Sorry, we went into this. The system has created an allocation table of 96. Okay. After that, delivering the material to the stores is as usual. So we go to the allocation table 
ఏంటి మర్చండైజ్ లా డిస్టెన్స్ మర్చండైజ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అలొకేషన్ టేబుల్ చేంజ్ సో వి ఆర్ యర్ సీయింగ్ వాట్ డస్ దిస్ టేబుల్ కంటైన్ ఓకే సో దట్స్ ఇట్ subsequent processing okay so i can select this create follow on document let me see why it is happening that way okay so there was a mismatch in the allocation rule selection so I select that line and go to the okay so i am ordering 200 with so it should be this from here okay so let me save it table is complete yes okay so let me save it allocation table create follow on documents run follow on documents yes now the system is going to create one external purchase order to send it to the vendor and it's going to create the what we call as the stock transfer orders okay so i execute it so the rest of the process is pretty much the same as what we had seen in the allocation table execution okay so then we have to receive the goods from the external purchase order and we have to distribute that material to the stores by means of the stock transfer orders okay so this is how we create and execute a promotion in is retail okay so the difference is that since we had bought it in a different price from the for the specifically for the promotion you might want to have a separate valuation okay because if you add this material to your regular stock then your stock valuation will come down okay so you might want to go for a special process called split valuation which will be normally carried out by the material management consultants okay so now we are going to see how to customize the promotions because when we are creating the promotions we chose the type 001 okay so now we are going to see how to customize the promotion types 